So how is the weather looking for tomorrow's parade? We want to know because Better. today, very <laughs> rainy. We don't want that tomorrow. No, we don't want that. Better than today. It is going to be a little on the windy side, though. Mm -hmm. So I know there's a, a lot of floats. There's maybe one or two balloons, so we might have to keep our eye on that because we will have gusts tomorrow over 40 miles per hour, especially in the afternoon. Maybe a little dicey for the uh, for the parade in the morning, but at least we're getting the bulk of the rain out of the way tonight. As I walk over to the big monitor, you can see the clouds and the radar. And yes, we have a little bit of uh, heavy rain at times across the area. Now, the good news, at least right now, is that there is a bit of a lull in some of the heavier rain here, but we are going to continue to watch for a little bit more overnight. We even had a couple of thunderstorms, very light. There was nothing severe or even strong, but a couple of light Lightning barbs a little earlier, I was noticing about eight, nine o'clock across the Jersey Shore. Lots of heavy rain will continue northeast of us. Eventually, though, it's going to die down. We still, though, have plenty of coastal flood alerts. Of course, right along the beaches and the shore. And then we also have inland for any streets, streams, creeks. That's all going to flood out. In fact, we have some minor road flooding, especially right across New Jersey, Camden County, just south of Philadelphia as well. We'll have to keep our eye on it. We haven't had any water rescues or things like that, and hopefully we won't. But just keep in mind that we're still going to see that flood potential continue all the way through your Sunday morning. Take a look. Some healthy amounts of rain. Nothing off the charts, but so far, Philadelphia, right across Center City, about 1.1 inches of rain. 1.2 in Northeast Philly. Allentown, about 7 tenths. Dover, and also the Atlantic City area, about a third or so. So again, healthy amounts of rain. We'll still have an additional inch or so overnight in a few spots. All right, so the parade tomorrow, it's drying out, but the wind will kick up. If you're getting there early around 11 a.m., 48 degrees throughout the parade. Temperatures will be in the upper 40s to low 50s, but tomorrow's going to feel a lot cooler than the actual temperature because of this. We have a wind advisory for the entire area from tomorrow afternoon all the way through Monday night. And that's for winds gusting out of the west at around 40 to 50 miles per hour. This is a big system. Right now, 49 in the city, 55 Atlantic City, 54 in Wildwood, 37 the cold spot up in Mount Pocono. Let's get you through the overnight. We'll have a couple of showers, stray ones across the Jersey Shore. This is 7 o'clock tomorrow. Let me stop it at parade time, 11 a.m. We may have a few lake effect snow showers well to the north and well to the west of our area, but maybe even a couple of sprinkles for us. Temperatures will be in the 40s. Again, chilly throughout the day. Now let's get a little bit closer to Sunday evening. Temperatures will fall into the 40s, 30s, and maybe a couple of wet snowflakes up toward the Lehigh Valley. By Sunday night into Monday, we are cold, but we are finally breaking out of more sunshine. Monday starts off chilly. By the afternoon, though, we're thawing back out into the 40s and 50s. That wind, though, will continue. Take a look at this. Overnight, wind gusts 20 to 30 miles per hour. By tomorrow morning, we're looking at 30 to 35. By the afternoon, up to 45 mile per hour winds. Here's your seven day forecast. Things do get a lot better, but we are going to continue to see temperatures in the 50s and 60s and even 70s. This will be the first time since November that we had 70s in the forecast. Looks like we'll have at least a few dry stretches. Rain returns next weekend. Guys? All right.